Hey my friend Arthur Morris here I hope all is well in this video we're going to look at uh, hyperbolic functions so we'll look briefly at hyperbolic functions and as you can see here we have a couple of examples of hyperbolic functions we have this uh, semi circle and then this uh, parabola here uh, or hyperbola sorry uh, so looking at the derivatives and integrals of the uh, hyperbolic functions we have a list of the uh, deriv derivatives and integrals here so you may want to pause this and, and jot these down and we'll go over a few of them okay so finding the derivative of sine of a hyperbolic um, sine function hyperbolic sine of 9x hyperbolic sine of 9x uh, so if we find the derivative of that, that's equal to the hyperbolic cosine of u times u prime. Uh, so if we let u equal 9x and u prime equals 9, then the derivative of this equals the hyperbolic cosine of u of 9x times u prime. Uh, so basically that chain rule there. So. All right, so number 29 here we have uh, the natural log of the hyperbolic sine of x. So we know that the, our derivative of derivative of our natural log of u is equal to one over u times u prime. All right. So if we let u equals sine hyperbolic sine of x, then uh, u prime equals the hyperbolic cosine of x. Therefore, the derivative of this function is one over sine of uh, hyperbolic sine of x times uh, hyperbolic cosine of x. And this hyperbolic cosine over hyperbolic sine can be written as cotangent. So the hyperbolic cotangent of x. All righty. Number 33, we have arctan, the inverse tangent of uh, times or of the hyperbolic sine of t. Okay, so we know that the derivative of the inverse tangent is equal of u is equal to one over one plus uh, u squared times du dx or u prime. All right, so if we let u equal sine the hyperbolic sine of t then u prime equals the hyperbolic cosine of t and using what we have over here we can write this f prime of t equals uh, 1 over 1 plus u squared so in this case sine hyperbolic sine squared of t times u prime which would be hyperbolic cosine of t. Alrighty, uh, now we also should um, maybe remember, or let me jot, refresh your memory, the triac functions 1 plus sine squared is equal to cosine of squared, so we can rewrite the 1 plus sine, hyperbolic sine squared of t as cosine uh, hyperbolic cosine of t hyperbolic cosine squared of t and that would allow us to simplify a little bit make that one over hyperbolic cosine of t and we can leave it like that or we can write that as secant hyperbolic secant of t. Okay. 
All right, so here we want to find an indefinite integral. So looking back uh, at our uh, formula page there, we want to find the indefinite integral of hyperbolic cosine of 4x dx. And hyperbolic cosine, the integral of the hyperbolic cosine of u du is equal to sine, hyperbolic sine of u plus c. So let's just let u equal 4x and then du equals 4 dx and we only need dx we don't need 4 dx so 1 fourth of du equals dx all right so I'm going to go ahead and bring that 1 fourth to the outside of my integral so I have 1 fourth of the hyper of uh, the integral of the hyper hyperbolic cosine of u as I wrote it in u du which we know that equals um, the hyperbolic sine of u plus c so one fourth times the hyperbolic sine of u plus c and write it back in terms of x so one fourth times the hyperbolic sine of um, 4x plus C. All right, all right, all right, moving along. We have the integral of the hyperbolic cosine of the square root of X all over the square root of X uh, times DX. So when we don't know, let's try using substitution. Let's let U equal, um, you may want to rewrite this, cosine of h of x to the one half x to the one half so we're going to let u equal x to the one half therefore du equals one half of x to the negative one half of dx Uh, and therefore that gives us multiply both sides by 2 so it gives us 2 du equals 1 over x to the 1 half dx so that equals that portion right there all right so we have the integral of the cosine of cosine, a hyperbolic cosine uh, of u all over, and we can just say times du, I guess. So we'll keep this two, we'll go ahead and bring that to the outside, and let's write this as sine h of u du, because du was equal to one over x to the one half dx. So I just replaced this uh, with du 2 du and put the 2 on the outside there so we know the cosine uh, the integral of the cosine of hyperbolic cosine of u du is the hyperbolic sine of u so 2 times the hyperbolic sine of u plus c and write that back in terms of x so 2 times the hyperbolic sine of um, the square root of x plus C. All right, number 50. We have the integral of sine, uh, hyperbolic sine of x over 1 plus uh, hyperbolic sine squared of x dx. So let's change that 1 plus the hyperbolic sine squared of x to cosine using our trig functions. Okay, so let's let let's let u equal. We always want to let u equal the most complex part of the 
um, function. So let's let u equal cosine of h since that's wrapped up in that square. That function is squared down there. So let's let u equal the cosine of h. Therefore, du equals sine of h or hyperbolic sine dx, which is this right here. So if I write this back in terms of u du, then I have 1 over u squared du. And since that's u squared, then I can move that up to the numerator and make that u to the negative second du. And I can integrate that by our power rule. So we'll add 1, which will make it u to the negative first, divided by 1 plus c. All right, so that gives us that negative 1. We'll just make that negative and um, 1 over u plus c. Therefore, we would have negative 1 over uh, cos hyperbolic cosine of what, what do we have x plus c and if we wanted to clean that up some we could um, change that 1 over cosine but I'm just going to leave it as is like so Alrighty, differentiation and integration involving inverse hyperbolic functions. So again, you may want to pause the video and write down, uh, write down these derivatives and integrals. And we're just going to look at a couple of the derivatives today. Okay, so let's say we want to find the derivative of y equals the inverse of the hyperbolic cosine of 3x. All right, so let's let u equal 3x and then uh, u prime would equal 3. And the integral derivative of the hyperbolic uh, inverse of the hyperbolic cosine of u is equal to u prime over the square root of u squared minus 1. So d dx cosine Therefore, we have y prime equals, we know that u prime is 3, so 3 over uh, the square root of u squared minus 1. It's the square root of 3x squared minus 1. So that gives us 3 over the square root of 9x squared, the square root of 9x squared minus 1. Alrighty, let's look at one more problem. So here we have the y equals the inverse of the hyperbolic sine of tangent x. So again, based on our rules for the hyperbolic uh, inverse of the hyperbolic sine function, that equals u prime 
all over the square root of u squared plus 1. Okay. So let's let u equal tangent x. Therefore, u prime equals secant square x, derivative of tangent. And then we should be able to write this out. So u prime secant square x over the square root of u squared plus 1. So tangent x, that should be, yeah, tangent square x plus 1. Alrighty, my friend, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.